We're back, and in this episode, we're going to look at the Blackwood National Park. Welcome back. So it's been a while. We're uh, tired. Tired, to say, <laughs> to say the least. Um, so we've just been a little bit busy. We are still here, even though we haven't uploaded a video in nearly a year or so. Yeah, something like that. Um, just been busy with our personal lives, as we all have. So we've headed to the Blackwood River National Park. It's about 80 kilometers inland of Bustleton. So anytime you come down to or we have in the past, we've managed to get some really great, like crazy good campsites here at Blackwood. Um, the river just flows all year round, and both basically you can have campsites up high, you can get campsites right down below beside the water. Been great. Yeah. Yeah, plenty of trees. Uh, you know, no wind. Yeah, good, no good places for fires and whatnot. Yep. Yeah. So this one we've left after work. Uh, during the weekday and headed down so we were, we've um, started a bit late in the evening yeah <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah anyway we'll, we'll show you how blackwood national park is uh, arriving at night time yeah I've got to... So we run into our first snag of the night. Um, seems like the place is a little bit more populated and, um, and popular than we used to think it was. Um, so the campsite that we normally go to has uh, uh, yeah got people in it. So we're off to go find another one. It's hard to really show on the camera what this is, but it's like up there is a you come out of this water, it's maybe about 10 meters, 15 meters of water. And it's not deep, it's what we can see here is maybe, I don't know, four or five inches? But what it is up there, that's the question. That question will be answered by Damien <laughs> and his dumb drop Wellingtons. <coughs> hard, hard bottom. Hard bottom. Yeah. You make this picture look so much better now that we can actually see what this place is like. <laughs> it's hard to kind of get what it looks like on the camera. Yeah. <coughs> um, I think we're okay. Yeah. Go all the way. See if there's anything on the other side, because it would be a shame to go through this and then not <laughs> have had to. Because you're actually near camp, you're another 50 meters and you'd be there.
Um, but yeah, we're not keen on a midnight camp tonight, so we're just going to head back to a uh, little clearing we found just before that water and um, make some camp. We have made it. Oh yeah, I forgot you put the lights in, in here already. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. It's been a while, we're going to kind of get reacquainted with the equipment. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. And it is a well, still nearly technically morning. Yeah, it's close to the afternoon. <laughs> After 10, yeah. we don't get sleep very much. <laughs> but average weather, but nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna pack down, get it packed down, and then try and find somewhere a bit nicer for camp for today. It's not lunchtime yet, so hopefully we'll have somewhere nice in the next couple of hours. Yeah. But the weather wasn't too bad last night. We had a bit of rain, but nothing too... Nothing too much. So the plan is basically, yeah, time to pack up and then head down the river. Down the Blackwood River and we'll try and find a camp spot um, on, the, on the water's edge that doesn't have someone in it. All right. This is our cap spot. I think, yeah, it's, I think it's, pretty, nice it's not bad. There's no big giant trees that look like they're going to fall over. Not where we're going to park anyway. Yeah. I'll probably park right where, pretty much where I am. Yeah. yeah. We've got the river, we've got pie. <laughs> we've got pie. <laughs> we've got pie. <laughs> well, if someone had a rock swing there. Oh, jeez. They're keen. Yeah, it means someone would have had to have climbed up that tree. Yeah, well, tight. Up that tree. It's cool. chemistry with overlanding out west <laughs> <laughs> so we have forgotten our aeropressors um, and have no instant coffee we only have some old pod filters that were um, sorry some old pod coffees that were in the back of Sean's car um, our inverters aren't, aren't powerful enough to actually run the coffee the pod coffee machine that's in the same thing So I've got the filter out, put it in a bottle, and I'm filtering through the, the filter paper in the bottom of the water bottle. Hopefully it works.
Right, well that concludes this trip. Yep. Um, in conclusion with the trip, I think uh, I still love Blackwood. <laughs> that, that much I can say. I really enjoyed this trip. It was just yeah. short, but it was great. Yeah. yeah. It was good to get out after all that time. Yeah, nothing, nothing too tricky or um, technical that we had to get through. Uh, campsites were nice. We didn't even need to let the pressure out of our tires at all, so yeah. Yeah, it was easy. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're looking for a place that you can get in and out, uh, you still want a bit of clearance and you still want to have a four-wheel drive, but yeah, if you come down here, you'll, you'll have no problem with campsites, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's it. Well, yeah, if you liked uh, what you've seen, then um, let us know. We'll uh, try and egg us on, get some more videos out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give us some push. Give us a push. Uh, yeah. um, Alright. Until next time. Catch you later on Overlanding Out West. <laughs>